Welcome back. Now, Health Workers Union in Gauteng, Dinosa, says it has no confidence in the Infrastructure Development Department's ability to fix Tambo Memorial Hospital. The union says the department has proved on numerous occasions it's incapable of fixing public buildings. The hospital was damaged after a gas tank exploded near the facility. But for more of this, I'm now joined by Dinosa's Gauteng chair. That's Simpiwe Gaida this morning. Simpiwe, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. Uh, I understand you have absolutely no confidence whatsoever in the Department of Infrastructure Development to fix Tambo Memorial Hospital. Why is this so? Well, morning, Tumelo, and thank you for inviting us. Uh, well, Tumelo, let me take you back uh, to the time that Charlotte McLeague, uh, Johannesburg Academic Hospital, was damaged, uh, which is more than a year ago. Uh, up to this day, the work has not been completed there. Let me take you across to all the departments uh, of government uh, in Gauteng, uh, in particular GPG. Uh, since the Bank of Lisbon uh, fire, uh, uh, we have seen that uh, the, all the GPG departments are unable to you know, satisfy the OHS requirements, but also you know, you go around and you look uh, around uh, buildings that are owned by DIT, you'll see that they are not in a positive state. So DIT has demonstrated overwhelmingly that uh, they are incapable of completing projects on time. But also my experience as a person that works in the, in the public health space, uh, when DIT is fixing things in our hospitals, you know, they inflate prices, so you find that uh, they overcharge. Uh, in the Tambo Memorial Hospital, within a short space of time, without doing a proper assessment, we saw a uh, management of the IT announcing 18 million, where we know that there are no structural damages. Yes, because of the impact, ceilings with the steps and some of the wiring, the electrical wiring which in our view would not cost so much as 18 million. So that is why we want against looting because uh, the IT has been used for looting. I mean, if you go to Helen Joseph Hospital, there's a lab that is being built led by the IT. That lab uh, is taking time to complete. So the IT continues uh, to, you know, to disappoint us. DIT continues to disappoint us, in particular in health. You go all around our hospitals, you'll see the poor state of, of the infrastructure. So that is why we have said that the Department of Health, understanding uh, why it's important to have fully functional hospitals, uh, should then uh, lead the process. When it comes to DID, what do you think informs the slow pace? You mentioned the Bank of Lisbon. Um, there's now the Tambo Memorial Hospital. We have Parliament as well. We're still awaiting for the uh, National Assembly yes. to, or, the, or the Parliament to be fixed up. What do you think informs the lack of capacity when it comes to you know, fixing our infrastructure on time and doing a good job at it? And also equally the point you've raised now, not inflating those prices, doing it at a price that actually is realistic and makes sense. Well, uh, it's simple, uh, uh, Tumelo. Uh, DID is just an overrated department because what in real sense, if you sit down and analyze what DID is, DID is simply a middleman. It brokers deal between business people and allocates uh, tenders to contractors. So the developmental agenda of government, of building a state that has got capacity will not be realized as long as we've got a department called DIT because what DIT does is to advertise tenders, allocate to their friends, inflate prices, and loot uh, public funds. That's what it does essentially. Mm. So uh, those are the challenges that we have seen with DIT. I mean, Tumelo, just for instance, for a unit manager in a ward, in a hospital, who has got a globe that uh, is not functioning, for that globe to be replaced, a globe that can cost you and me maybe a, a, a maximum of 50 rands at a, a hardware, when DIT comes to fix that in a ward, you'll find that the invoice is 500 rand. So that is why we say that the Department of Health mm can essentially do what the IT is doing. In fact, what we can do is to create decent work and ensure that we have got our own internal contractors, mm. for instance, to do maintenance 
and the complex work that needs to be outsourced. We think the Department of Health does not need DID to do that because at the end of the day, the budget is allocated to the Department of Health. What DID simply does is to utilize the same budget that is allocated to the Department of Health to appoint a contractor at inflated prices. We think that the Department of Health understanding the importance of its mandate, because one thing we must stress is that the Department of Health is not like any other department. It is a department that is located within the constitution of this country, unlike DID. So we can collapse DID, and we think that there will be nothing wrong in doing that. I mean, uh, look at the fence, for instance, in our borders. Look mm. at how poor our borders are. All that is the doing of DID, because all it does is just to appoint people. That's the job that it does, and anybody can do that. We think that departments uh, of government government departments should be allowed to spend their money in the best possible way to realize the mandate of their departments without involving the IT. Well, we leave it then. I appreciate you speaking to me about this. Dinosa Gauteng Chairperson, Simpiwe Gara, thank you so much for your time right here on the South African Morning.